This is Little Red's garden. And Aspen's. This is, this is, this is, this is Lion. He's gonna be touring with us today. We have to have a lot of netting because the deer tend to get through here. Do you know what's in this one? I don't know what's in this one. Yes. Okay, so it. that bed is beans. So we have some spotted purple beans, and we also have some red runner beans. Do they run away? Do you like to see the beans? Do, do they run away? They don't run away. But we've got some purple beans. we got some flowers. And weeds. We have some weeds. They don't like the weeds. Because weeding is part of having a garden. red like me. Yes. Is it a pepper? No, it's also a bean. I thought it was a pepper. Nope, it's a scarlet bean. Huh. It's the flower before it becomes a bean. It's red like me. It Wicked. is red like Little Red Riding Hood. In this tiny garden of mine, there are several different flowers. Come closer. There's a lot of strawberries. Strawberry, strawberry. That's a flower. I don't know what this is. Nasturtium. That's nasturtium. You could eat the flowers of nasturtium. And then there's radishes. These are eggshells because we have birds and um, we crush up their eggs so we stop the slugs. Radish. Radishes. And this is thyme. 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 We have a lot of thyme <laughs> on our hands because uh -huh. of quarantine. <laughs> and there's chives. Chives, and then we have sage, sage. and oregano. Oregano. In this bed, we have potatoes. You can't really see them right now, and man, my head and heart. But if you look under the ground, and this is one that didn't do so, is still growing. If I could put it back, it's a tiny potato. I'm gonna put that back in the ground because that's where it goes. So all of these are potatoes. Yes. What is this a weed? That's a weed. We tried planting pumpkins when we first started the garden, but then the deer and the slugs kept eating them and that didn't kind of turn out well. So now we're trying it again and they're growing better. There are our pumpkins. They are starting to grow bigger. And there's some Asian greens. What's up in the trees? That's uh, a box. What kind of box? It's a bat box. Bat box? Yeah, it's a bat box. So bats, uh, you, you, it's how you can help endangered species of bats going extinct. You can give them homes because their houses and places they live, they're brown bats that live in our eaves of our house. Um, so we can like to make them have, like to give them more options if they want to live somewhere else. Thankfully, they eat all our mosquitoes. They're an endangered species, and we really try our best to protect them. Most people think bats are a pest, but really, they're quite helpful. Yes, they can they can pass diseases, but as long as you don't touch them, and as long as you leave them to the proper professionals. My mom, Aspen, actually works at a rehabilitation center that helps take care of them. So there's our garden gate. And those... I don't put that up. Those are our trees that are in our front yard. Now they're a deciduous tree. They're not aspens. They're alders. But they're very handy. And then behind our house we have a lot of Douglas firs and madrone. Seafoam. And seafoam. Well seafoam's not a tree. Hey, I got it. Just across the field you can see our neighbor's garden. And you can see how everybody who wants a garden has to have the fence because of the deer. And I love the deer, but the deer can also eat everything in sight. So you have to have a deer fence. 